Greetings, my fellow lovers of tunes, and welcome back to another Nemophila reaction video here on the channel where we enjoy the music, of course. Now, I'm very excited for today because we have another five special requests lined up by the one and only Steve Billingsley. I'm very excited, so thank you very, very much, Steve. Very excited to see what all these songs are all about. Now, if you didn't know, Steve requested a few songs uh, a few days ago by now. Uh, from Love Bites and Bandmate, he introduced us to the bands on this channel. They introduced me, at least, to them. And it was absolutely phenomenal. It was so much fun adding some amazingly talented women to our lineup and songs that we have reacted to. So this time around, he requested some more songs from some familiar, more familiar groups, like Nimophila, that we have done quite a bunch, that was introduced by Ryan Hansen, if I'm not mistaken. Um, very excited for that. Also, we have more Love Bites songs to come. And then lastly, the Kahar spin and i think we've only done like one or two maybe one uh songs of that group so i'm very excited to see what they're all about today's video is called crazy nights and if i'm not mistaken i, I don't want to get the names wrong again i think loudness was the original group that performed this song and the song name is crazy nights covered by nemophila of course and i think i might be wrong but i think i've heard the song only like once or twice i cannot tell you where i cannot tell you when it was all that I remember is that there's a very iconic guitar riff in this, you know, like Enter the Sandman iconic. This, the, if I'm not mistaken, I, I'm not entirely sure. So we're going to get into that one, enjoy it together. And then also Steve, kindly enough, always leaves these amazing informational notes with the songs. And apparently on this one, this was the last time that um, Saki, is it Saki? Um, played with the group and then Hazuki was supposed to take over and people were wondering if she's going to be able to take up the role and stuff like that so I'm very excited to see that as well um, I I have tried to remember the names uh, so we will definitely try and practice that as well but in any case let's get into this one and then we will discuss it afterwards as always <laughs>
Oh my goodness, that was absolutely incredible. Now, let me quickly just say, I think I misspoke. I, I don't think that this was Saki's last run. I think I was supposed to say that this was the first time that Hozuki was playing by herself since Saki left. So I apologize for that. Um, I think I just got confused a little bit by that. But regardless, that was absolutely phenomenal. What an amazing coven. What a fun song. I mean, this is this is definitely, and I, I'm very happy that I remembered the song. Uh, especially that riff. as soon as it started playing the memories just came back immediately and I, I, I knew that okay this this is something that I'm familiar with a little bit at least what an incredible song you cannot sit still to that it's one of those those iconic guitar riffs or for me at least you know like if you think about um, Enter, Enter Sandman or ACDC's Thunderstruck you know like all these iconic songs that has like that iconic guitar riff and this is definitely one of them. Such a fun beat that you just cannot sit still to. And I think Nimbufula did a like absolutely phenomenal job with this one. And if not, if I'm not mistaken, the original was like somewhere in the 80s that it released. I might be wrong on that. I'm very rusty on like that sort of or this style of music that long ago. Um, I only. I think last year I heard the original so it's actually quite funny that we're doing the cover now but incredibly done I love it I absolutely love it and I'll tell you why these videos that you get where it's like the sort of stay at home thing like I think I mentioned it before in the other videos where you had these COVID style videos now I'm not entirely sure when this came out this was only two months ago so it was not that long ago so it, it's not any to do with like COVID related but the style of video really came to its fruition in those times where people were doing these songs from home and they would have each person recording the their part and like in post editing put it all together but it's such a fun thing as well because you can really see them in their comfort space like where they're comfortable at and you can see that they are just having fun with what they're doing and they're just having a good time it's not that they're on stage and like there's a thousands and thousands of people watching them and stuff like that it's much more relaxed and don't get me wrong i love live shows it's one of my favorite sort of videos to watch um with official music videos and stuff like that as well but this is this gives a, a different like sense of person personality is that the right word to use to these ladies you get to see them a bit more in their comfort space and um but more behind the scenes when they're not on the stage and like a little bit more of how they and who they are at home that sort of vibe um like at the end where we got to see Maya's kid joining as well it looked so cute you can really see she's so happy and proud and just happy with it i'm sure that child has an amazing upbringing i would love to hear his thoughts when his mother sings and performs and do a thing i think he's gonna um have a wonderful show as he's growing up but you get to see all these little parts of them behind the scenes and see what they are made of and also a little peek into behind the scenes you know with like um haraguchi there behind she had a post of rick and morty which i love i love that series so much one of my favorites like she has a post of that's it it gives you a little bit more to think of like what she's interested in and what she likes and stuff like that maybe even where they get their motivation from that's maybe a stretch but that's what i think about sometimes um it's fun i really enjoy this style of music but the song itself was absolutely phenomenal mayu sounded incredible on the vocals but she has been in every song that i've heard been absolutely incredible she has such a powerful voice whether it's her normal singing voice and the, all the metal scream voice it's incredible her versatility is absolutely phenomenal the bass as always phenomenal like i love that ending where she was like holding it over her head and trying to play it and stuff like that um hazuki i think she really proved to everyone now forgive me i'm not as like studied and clued up on the history of Nemophila and everything as many other people are but I'm sure this is the point where she showed the fans and the followers that listen I can do this even though Saki is gone I can still do this we can still be a four person band and do the same music if not better than we did before I think she really proved it she sounded absolutely phenomenal the guitar solos were out of this world I love watching them just do their thing watching how they manipulate that instrument instrument to do the sounds that they want them to do it's like almost hypnotizing to watch at times but she did a phenomenal job and of course 
Haru. It is Haru, right? I just want to make sure. Tomu. Tomu. I don't know why way I got Haru from. Tomu on the drums. Absolutely incredible. I, I love watching them perform. They, they are some of the few bands that really like you can see them enjoying themselves you can see that they're having so much fun and you can hear it in the music as well as soon as you see someone have fun you can you can hear the difference in music as well like it's not a job for them it's not it's not something they have to do it's a passion it's it's something that they want to do for the rest of their life and they so, they are so good at doing it absolutely incredible um now i'm wondering like i said i don't know very much about the history of this band but if this song was only two months ago did did Saki only leave recently I've only seen a few videos but I, I need to go and study up on that because I'm not sure but absolutely incredible love this the original was fire but I think this is even better than that dare I say I, I'm not that familiar with loudness so I might be saying this not really knowing what I'm saying but I love Nimifula. These ladies cannot do wrong in my eyes. They are incredible. And I would love to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on this? This is a more recent one. I think this is one of the more recent ones we have done. The next one that we are doing is even more recent than this one. It's called God. And if I, I, I know that Steve gave me like a breakdown of what that stands for. Uh, Groundbreak Groundbreakers of Destiny. That's what it stands for. Uh, that's even a newer one than this one. So it's exciting to see the newer stuff now as well and see how much they have grown. I've only have a few songs to compare of um, how they were before and what they are doing now and stuff like that. But it's exciting. I would love to know from you guys what are your thoughts on this one. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? I think sometimes I just get lost in the music. Like I, I, I've i seen myself in like editing as well. Like just staring at the screen and like you can see like the the party is going up upstairs but it looks like nobody is home that sort of vibe but it's just so much fun seeing these things and experiencing it and then my adhd brain just goes one way and i get lost in it but it's so much fun let me know what your thoughts on this one is and also what other songs we will do we will do uh, like i said god in the next video which is also a special request by steve so i'm very excited to see that one and it's been exciting getting back to these amazing ladies as well uh, but again, thank you very, 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 very much to, to Steve. My tongue is twisting today uh, for these incredible requests. I am very excited to see the rest of them as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy out there. And then remember, music is medicine.